So guys, we were at the airport and getting ready to check in. And then we actually checked in, put our bags up. And then when we went through immigration, um, they stopped us. basically said that we were unable to travel because I did not have permission my phone is going off I didn't have permission from the kids father to bring them back to the states so I was like super sad guys what the hell so I was super sad and Amir was super sad because we had all this stuff planned out but Hopefully, we will be able to resolve this issue by the time uh, this video goes up. Um, right now, I am home and I'm just cleaning up. My house is a mess right now. Let me show you guys. I have everything everywhere. Suitcases, stuff all over the table. Uh, literally, everything is like everything is everywhere so i am right now trying to clean up while my daughter is asleep i have strong faith that we will be able to be out of here by the time you see this video um so i'm just gonna like clean up um and get certain stuff organized um repack well, actually, I'm just going to close back up my suitcase because I didn't want to take anything out or add anything else in there because I just wasn't sure. Um, like, well, literally, I just, I just, I'm a, I'm a woman of faith and I have a strong feeling that we'll be able to get out of here and be able to get everything that we need to do, get done by the time you see this video. So I'm going to just repack and clean up and get everything just literally situated. So, yep, that's what I'm going to do right now. As you guys know, I wasn't able to get on my flight on Friday. Yes, I have on the same thing um, because I literally just went to the airport, came back home, and I was sulking in depression, and I just like literally took off my clothes. Um, but good news is, is that everything is going according to plan. I did not unpack anything, so I left everything here. Um, as far as the suitcase is concerned, the only thing that I did take out was like the breast milk and stuff out of the out of the bag. Um, I'm waiting till about 9.30 to get a notarized letter and to get the go-ahead from the Panamanian Council in New York. And I will break all that down to you in the next clip. And we'll see. Um, so once I get the go-ahead, we're on our way to New York. Okay, guys. So here's a little bit backstory on what happened. Um, we were supposed to fly out on Friday. We were supposed to fly out on Friday, and usually when I fly out, I, with a mayor, I've never got stopped or asked for like a permission slip to leave. And just so happened, I'm with a mayor and my daughter, and I had a note um, just in case I did get stopped. And so we checked in, everything was all great, great, wonderful. And we are getting ready to, to go through immigration, and immigration stops me and like, okay, um you need a letter from the parent the other parent i'm like oh yeah i do have a letter and they're like yeah no you can't use this letter it's not notarized um it has to be like this and so they showed me some other person's letter and i was just like oh, okay so in my mind i'm like i don't understand what's the big deal i travel with him all the time and then they asked me if a man was a resident and i said yes whatever 
But before we get into the rest of the video, just check out this new ad. After a stressful day, I enjoy using my Terralax electric percussion massager. It has a powerful motor, long lasting battery life, and it's made out of ABS, high quality ABS plastic to be exact. It is efficient to help you reduce aches and discomforts in your shoulders, neck, back, joint, foot, leg, and calves. It is also useful if you need to speed up muscle recovery or if you simply wish to relax. After all the stress that I've endured this week with immigration and traveling, this massager is everything. I enjoy using it. My son enjoys giving me a Mac massage and vice versa. It's an excellent built-in quality. It is cordless and it's made with a powerful motor of 3,600 pulses per minute, which allows it to offer you a deep tissue massage. It is portable. Who doesn't want a portable design? While most electric massages need to be plugged in, you can literally just plug it into the wall. It charges and it's good to go. If you need to relax, and you don't have time to go to the spa, this massager will do the job. A quick massage will help you relax physically and it will help you enjoy all that life has to offer you. Increase joint flexibility, a good massage has been proven and it has positive effects on the human body, human body and it also reduces stress and discomfort and muscle tension. The good thing about this massager is that it has several different parts that you can attach. You can use the round ball and it has a one point head made of hard plastic which is good for the deep tissue massage for a firmer massage. Or you can switch it out and use one of the other compartments if you're looking for a deep tissue massage in the back. It can be used for that If you're interested well. in making a purchase, please visit TerraRelaxUSA.com and let them know that the B-Girl sent you. So the lady basically stopped me and, well, it wasn't a lady, it was a man. And if you hear Gigi in the background, Gigi is having a wonderful time. I'm not neglecting her, okay? So you guys can rest assured she's all good. But back to the story. So the guy stopped me and was like, hey, uh, what do you think you're going, well, he didn't say where do you think you're going with these kids, but you might as well should have just said that because that was the, the energy he was giving to me. And I was like, well, I am traveling to the USA. Now, both of my kids both have US passports and you would think that that wouldn't be an issue. Negative, hold on, let's, let's get Gigi in the video because Gigi is like, yeah, she wants to be in the video. Come on, mama. Okay, yes, this is real life of a working mom. Um, so basically, he was like, hey, what do you think you're going with those kids? And I'm like, I'm going to the United States of America. And both my kids both have U.S. passports. And they basically were like, we don't care if they have U.S. passport. He's a resident and she was born in Panama. So therefore, you need permission to leave the country. Although you may be going back to your country, technically, you need permission to leave from their father. And I was just like, oh my God, their father is in the United States. And they were like, well, he is going to have to go to the Panama, the Panamanian consulate. Okay. Yeah, girl, we're talking about your dad. So you want to make sure that you have these items when you are leaving, especially Panama. And you would think, hey, you should know that you're supposed to have permission. But honestly speaking, I have traveled with Amir several times and I never, ever had to show any type of documentation. Um, so for me, it was more so like a surprise. And I actually did have a letter, but the letter had to be notarized. And here's what has to be done. So if you are a resident of panama right that means that you have any type of documentation that you reside in panama and your kid is also registered and has a residency in panama so that means if you are an american or from any other country whatever and you have residency official residency in panama you will need documentation from the child's father or the child's mother if they are traveling out of the country, out of Panama. So if I'm the mom, I'm gonna need permission from the dad. If it's the dad, the dad needs permission from the mother. And if it's a grandparent 
or an aunt, cousin, or uncle, they are going to need permission from both parents and they have to be notarized by the Panamanian notary. Okay, I hope I'm making sense. So, in my case, my daughter's father lives in Panama. So, what did he have to do? Basically, I had to call him, write a letter, because the letter has to be in Espanol. That's another thing. You may have a, a, a written letter and it's notarized. It has to be written in Spanish, right? So, I had to write him a letter in Spanish, okay? And it has to have his name. If he is a Panamanian, it would have his cellular number. If he is American, it would have to be his passport number. And then he'll say, I, X, Y, Z, give permission to my child, mother, such and such name with either passport number or cellular number, blah, 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 to leave Panama with my son or daughter, blah, 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 name with passport number, do, 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 do to go to XYZ from this time to that time. So that's what has to be done. That letter now has to be taken to the Panamanian consulate, right? Fortunately, the, there is a consulate or embassy in New York City, but what happened to a lady that was traveling the same day as I was with her daughter, her husband lived in Texas. So because he lived in Texas, there was literally no embassy in Texas. Um, the, clear, the nearest embassy was in Florida. So he would have had to drive from Texas to Florida to get that document notarized. Now, there is a way to work around the system, but that video will be in my members only tab. So if you are interested in figuring out how to get over that or get around that whole situation, you would have to get into but join to become a member. But in my case, he ended up going to the Panamanian embassy. And when he went to the embassy, he, um, I gave him the letter. He had to show a copy of his passport, um, my daughter's birth certificate, a copy of my passport, and uh, what else did he have to show? Birth certificate, his passport, my passport, and I had to let them know when I was leaving. So once he did that, he called me, they sent me a copy, but they also actually mail it directly to the airport. So that's one less stress that you would have to worry about. So if you go and you already know that the information is already done, they will confirm it with the immigration email. And then once it's confirmed with the email, they will then ask you for the child's birth certificate, the original birth certificate, that's another thing. And you show them the original birth certificate, they compare it with what uh, the embassy sent to them. And then the person that is at the front, the secretary or the clerk, the immigration or migración secretary, she will then in turn stamp it and then you guys are free to go. So I ended up not getting on my flight, which was scheduled for Friday, because I did not have the proper documentation. But lucky enough, shout out to Delta. Delta booked me on the next flight, which was for Monday at the same time. And it actually worked out in my favor, because we got to New York safe and sound. And we are going to enjoy our time. Unfortunately, I missed my birthday celebration because my birthday was Sunday but because of my cancellation on Friday's flight I was not able to celebrate my birthday but I was surrounded by my kids and my lovely parents and yeah that's about it so guys I hope this video helps somebody out don't make the same mistakes that I made because trust me Amir was sad everybody was just like I was kind of like under the weather because I had to cancel my birthday plans and the only person that didn't seem to mind was Miss Thing over here right anyway thank you guys for your donations it is truly appreciated let me show you every time you guys donate something to my channel I actually buy some type of equipment to make my content better this time because I want to show you guys because I don't want you to think that um, your donations or I'm spending the money frivolously I ended up buying this from Amazon which is I got some lights 
so that when I am traveling, I can still bring you guys content and it'll be very lit. So I have this portable light that I'll put on my camera and I also bought this um, microphone to stick onto my body. And so that the sound would be a lot better because I'm using this camera right now, which is a Canon GSX. And I usually use it just for vlogging. But when I am sitting down doing these type of informational videos, I love to use my Canon M50. So that is what I got this for so that when I do get back to Panama, I'm able to give you guys the best quality content and my plans for this year is to be a lot more consistent and I want to have much better video quality so a lot of you guys when you guys are sending me donation I'm you I'm literally using it to invest back into the channel so thank you guys as always for tuning into my videos if you like this video if you find it informational and helpful please give it a thumbs up and as usual guys peace and love bye bye Gigi